range with your friend, enjoying some target practice after a busy week. While retrieving the target, your friend accidentally points the gun in your direction. Bad news, the gun wasn't empty. You've been shot, and you need to get help right away or you will die. Here's how to survive a bullet wound. Gun-related deaths and injuries occur around the world every day. In the United States alone, there are more than 100 gun-related deaths daily, and 200 more people are shot and wounded. The amount of damage a bullet can do to a human is devastating. A 14-year-old boy was shot in the abdomen. While the wound didn't look life-threatening from the outside, the bullet changed course inside the boy's body. It tore through his intestines, pancreas, spleen, stomach, diaphragm, and a lung before planting itself in the boy's spine. Thankfully, after four hours of surgery and a couple of follow-up visits, the boy survived. It's estimated that you'll have an 80 to 90% chance of survival if you're shot in a non-fatal area. But not everyone will be as fortunate as that 14-year-old boy. If you survive, you could end up with serious life-changing injuries. Some of the damage is due to the bullet piercing your body, but the bullet's momentum can be deadly. Bullets come in different shapes and sizes, and each bullet has different characteristics of energy transfer. A 9mm bullet, which is usually used by law enforcement officers, can travel up to 1,450 kilometers per hour and hit you with the force of about 470 joules. If we go up a few sizes, the 5.56mm rifle round is often used in assault rifles like the AR-15 and the M4. It travels at a speed of 3,300 kilometers per hour. When it hits its target, it delivers a whopping 1,760 joules of energy. That's more than four times the energy of a 9mm bullet. If you get hit with all that energy, your skin will absorb it, but then the energy has to be transferred somewhere. The bullet's entrance hole will form a large cavity, and then it will fall back on itself. The trauma from this impact alone could cause serious damage. So if you've been shot or see someone get shot, what's the next step to help them survive? Step one, stop the bleeding. The first and most important step is to try and stop the bleeding. Put pressure on the wound using whatever you have available, like a shirt or bandages. A former Green Beret, Conan Arcisco, says that of all preventable deaths that occur on the battlefield, 90% of them are due to blood loss. So keep as much blood in your body as possible. Step two, look for an exit wound. After putting pressure on the entry wound, look for an exit wound. If there is one, there will be a large cavity. Apply pressure to the exit wound too. If it's a large wound, you'll need to make sure that air doesn't get sucked in. This could cause a lung to collapse. Try to fill the wound with gauze or bandages, then find tape or something that can make a solid seal around the wound to keep air out. Step three, call for help. After the shooting, you should immediately call for assistance. Getting an ambulance on site as soon as possible is critical to surviving a bullet wound. After being shot, if a patient can make it to an emergency room in the next 60 minutes, they are more likely to survive. It's called the golden hour. Step four, watch for shock. Shock usually occurs when blood has been lost. This can happen if there isn't enough pressure applied to the entry or exit wounds. Going into shock can cause loss of consciousness. If the bullet wound's position allows it, lie down and try to elevate your legs. Loosen any tight-fitting clothes or belts and try to stay warm. If you're helping someone else who's been shot, watch for warning signs like pale and clammy skin, dizziness, and rapid breathing. Put your coat or sweater on the person. Step five, prevent infection. Usually you wouldn't remove the bandage because taking it off can tear open the wound. But again, if you can't call for help or you're in a disaster situation where medics can't get to you, try to make sure the wound is clean. If the wound isn't dressed correctly or redressed after some time, you run the risk of getting an infection. This can cause many complications. Step six, rest. When you're shot, your body has a lot to cope with. Rest and allow your body to recuperate and repair itself. Being shot can be a terrifying experience and you might not look at life the same way afterwards, but it is possible to survive a bullet wound if you act quickly, safely, and effectively. But what if the danger isn't a gun? What if you're near an exploding grenade? Would a grenade cause more damage than a bullet? There's no need to hunker down. We have all that information ready for you. Watch how to survive a grenade blast 
right here on How to Survive.